Alright guys, quick video. A uh, video of a recent modification I've been doing to uh, a regular customer now. Big shout out to Russell. Thanks very much for sending it in mate. I've enjoyed doing this one. Okay, so what have I actually done? Well, I can't take credit for the paintwork. He sent me uh, the console like this. It looks rather tasty and matte black. With the metallic Sega decal. I don't know if you can quite get that on the camera. But it looks rather, rather good. These are actually now available. I have these in stock. So anybody wanting any mods, I can always pop those on. I think they look rather good. Right, so what have I done to this console? Well, if I turn it around, just flip it around. You'll notice... Some rather tasty looking switches and outputs. So what have I actually done? Okay, starting with the big switch, the toggle switch. This is actually a new modification. This is an all-in-one switch which allows me, or it allows you, to switch the console between American, European, and Japanese. So instead of having two switches um, to do 50 and 60 hertz and then the Japanese and English, you can actually do it all in one switch. Now what I did was I removed the RF unit from the console, I desoldered it from the board which was actually quite tricky but not impossible and it left quite a lot of room for these outputs and also this switch, a perfect hole to mount the pole switch. So it's a, it's a nifty little way of keeping the console nice and tidy. So at the moment how this switch works, set in the central position the console thinks it's American, so it displays 60Hz NTSC, full screen. If you flick it to the right, I believe the console thinks it's English, so it displays in 50Hz, and uh, it's a PAL signal, so it's a squished sort of letterbox look on the new TVs, and it's a lot slower, like 20% slower in fact. Um, Sonic's a massive difference. The gameplay's slower as well. Um, okay, so if you flick it to the other side, the other direction, the console now thinks it's Japanese. So all your Japanese games will work. Um, games like Streets of Rage will display a Japanese language, which is pretty cool. I'll show you in a, a demo video shortly. Um, so yeah, that's the switch. Now, these nifty little outputs here. Um, the first one is now displaying composite video. So you yell they're normally yellow, I've done them all in black just to go with the look of the console. Um, and the next two are the audio out, so they're actually stereo now. If you take the signal from the RGB to SCART, uh, it's not in stereo, it's mono, it comes out of the TV or wherever you put it into <clears throat> both speakers, but mono sound. Now what you can do is if you still use the RGB for the best signal, because it is a better signal than composite, you can take the stereo outputs here and stick it through your hi-fi, or, or wherever your TV, and it's actually in stereo and higher quality sound. And I've actually taken it from the board which controls the headphone sound, so you can actually now control the sound that comes out of there using this. Not only that, it looks absolutely awesome. I must say, it does look good. Um, I do like this colour scheme, all black. With a bit of, bit of grey and silver here and there. So, that's basically it. Now, I'll just do a quick video showing you, showing you it up and running. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.